foams are absorbent dressings that are available either in adhesive or non-adhesive forms. They are often used as a primary dressing, but may also be used as a secondary dressing in some circumstances. Some foam dressings are thin, while others are thicker and provide greater cushioning and absorption. Foams are formed from polymers, such as polyurethane. They have small open cells that are able to trap moisture. They are permeable to gas with relatively high moisture vapor transmission rates, but act as a barrier to bacteria. Some foams have a film backing that decreases the rate at which moisture vapor can escape. Foam dressings have sometimes been described as the ideal dressing. They absorb exudate, permit gaseous exchange, maintain a moist wound environment, and protect the surrounding skin from maceration. They also provide thermal insulation that raises the core temperature of the wound. Foams conform to the body shape, provide protection and cushioning, and may be removed without causing trauma to frail skin. As an added advantage, foam is also easy and economical to use. When should foam dressings be used? Foams may be used for granulating or slough covered, partial and full thickness wounds with minimal to heavy exudate. Wounds that are suitable for foam dressings include post-operative and traumatic wound sites, donor sites, minor burns, diabetic ulcers, pressure ulcers, and venous insufficiency ulcers. Foam dressings can also be used under compression bandaging or as a secondary dressing for amorphous hydrogels and alginates. Non-adhesive foams should be used on patients with fragile skin integrity. If foams are used on infected ulcers, the dressing should be changed daily. Foams are not indicated for dry or eschar-covered wounds. Foam dressings are relatively straightforward to apply. First, cleanse the wound area and dry the surrounding skin. Next, select a size of foam slightly larger than the wound. If necessary, cut the foam to shape. Now place the smooth, shiny side of the dressing directly over the wound surface. For venous leg ulcers, the foam should be secured in place with a suitable bandage, such as a compression bandage, provided there are no contraindications. For other applications, the dressing should be secured with a suitable tubular or lightweight cohesive bandage if the skin is fine or easily damaged. For all other patients, a hypoallergenic adhesive tape may be used. A foam dressing can remain in place for up to seven days or until the exudate has saturated to the edge of the dressing. To learn more about moist wound healing and other key concepts in wound care, you may wish to consider becoming certified as a wound care specialist. The benefits of wound certification are immeasurable, both to your own career and to the standard of care that you can offer your patients. And because Medicare and other organizations are now holding healthcare professionals responsible for outcomes in wound care, there has never been a better time to become a wound care specialist. WoundEducators.com is dedicated to helping you take this all-important step in your career and to help you handle any type of wounds you may encounter in your daily practice.